Here we are, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. As you can see, we're in green, being festive, making picks. Uh, let's just start at the top. Gonzaga, simple, easy. We can, we can probably just keep moving that on down the line. Kansas wins. A little worried about the Jayhawks this year. They've not had quite the, the year that uh, my friend Greg Fernelli, who's a big Kansas Jayhawk fan, Clint Boyer too, shout out. Um, yeah, Jayhawks, we'll, they'll get by here for a little bit. No real upsets really yet. I mean, seven and 10, VCU and Oregon, you don't really, uh, Brian Beeler is gonna be mad about this. My fellow duck, as you saw in my Instagram story, I was playing tennis with. He's gonna not like that Oregon's going out, but VCU is gonna beat them. Sorry about that. That's, that's you know, nothing really shocking here with these teams. So uh, if you're looking for big upsets, it's not gonna happen. Baylor obviously wins. UNC, Villanova, um, I, I don't have much faith in them. We have an upset here. Winthrop, they win. They beat Villanova. Uh, sorry for all the uh, Villanova fans. You've had a great team for a long time, but unfortunately you're gonna go out in the first round. Purdue, I believe my crew chief, Chris Gavehart, is gonna appreciate this. Congratulations, you win a game. Florida and Virginia Tech. You know, I, I'm going Virginia Tech here. Uh, you know, not a huge upset, again, because it's a 10 versus a seven seed, but Tech, um, they're fired up. I've watched a few of their games this year. They're playing okay. So I'll go beat Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State beating Liberty. Sorry, William Byron, early exit for you. Got a few guys I play basketball with that are big Syracuse guys. They're gonna appreciate that. All right, so while I'm on this side of the board, let's just keep it over here. If you can't read my writing, tough. Baylor keeps it rolling. Uh, Purdue, Chris, Purdue, they're gonna, they'll make it here. Sweet 16. Ohio State, it's gonna beat Virginia Tech. That's a bummer, but it's gonna happen. WVU. Mountaineers, gonna smack around Syracuse. So here we go, we got the Sweet 16 over here in the South and the Midwest. Baylor, Purdue, Texas Tech, Ohio State, Illinois, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and Houston. If you want a perfect eight over here, you better have them. You know, a lot of people are down on Virginia, but I'm from Virginia. Blood's thicker than water. Here we go. Virginia beats Creighton. Kansas. They got that tournament history. Bill Self, find a way to make it work. Iowa beating VCU. Here we go, Sweet 16. East and West, Gonzaga, UVA, Kansas, Iowa, Michigan, FSU, Texas, and Alabama. That's your final eight over here on this side. So getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is not gonna be a surprise, let's stay over here. Gonzaga keeps moving, they beat UVA. Iowa beats the Jayhawks. Sorry, Greg Fernelli. Jayhawks are going down in the Sweet 16. Alabama. I'm gonna write their full name. You'll see why shortly. Ohio State beats Texas Tech. And then we have uh, Illinois and West Virginia. All right, here we go. So that's the Elite Eight. Um, no, I mean, I don't think there's really anyone making a giant run uh, from their rankings. Um, let's see. Alabama's been playing good. Maybe Florida State, you know, it's a four seed. Everyone else is, you know, your ones, twos, and threes. So it's really the only, only thing I've got uh, that's completely out of the ordinary. Not that it's really completely out of the ordinary. 
Make it to the final four. Baylor, they're beating Ohio State. Then West Virginia. This will be a really good matchup. Like this. I feel confident in these two. I mean, little worried about loss here, but overall, I, I, these two teams I just think are the most well-rounded. Gonzaga, they're gonna make it to the final four, along with Alabama, who beats Florida State. So where do we go from here? We gotta pick some semi-finalists. This is against, you know, a lot of uh, what your brain and your eye may see, but this team can absolutely shoot the lights out. So we're gonna continue Alabama going to the finals, beating Gonzaga in the final four. And over on this side, I like Baylor beating West Virginia in a great matchup. That'll be fun. And then so we have some teams here uh, between Alabama and Baylor in the finals. Who's gonna win? This is uh, the question of the day. And although it's St. Patrick's Day, and Baylor seems like, you know, might be the favorite in this, Alabama is your winner. The Nick Saban mentality, so what, now what, goes over to Alabama's basketball team. They, um, they're gonna face some adversity. They're gonna get down at some point because of shooting. You know, anytime you rely heavily on shooting, uh, you're gonna win a lot of games and you, you have a chance to lose some. So I think they go in a few shooting slumps, but in the end, they just have too much scoring. Uh, and I think that uh, Alabama is gonna be your 2021 March Madness champs at me.